On to day eight, we travelled from Ljubljana in Slovenia to Split in Croatia. It was a distance of 531 kilometres with a travel time of 10 hours, so we hadn't much time for hanging around really. We were up early that morning and out onto the bikes. Now we decided to hit the motorway to try and make up a bit of time. So we travelled as far as, uh, I think it's Zidar in Croatia on the motorway and came off the motorway there and headed for the coast road. Now, to be honest with you, I know the coast road is supposed to be beautiful in uh, Croatia and parts of it are, but the road we were on, it was ridiculously low speed limits. You know, some places were 30 kilometers an hour and it was, to be honest with you, it was just painful, you know. We just, uh, we got a bit of lunch in one of the places and got the heads down again and headed straight for uh, Split. So we arrived in Split in the afternoon, if my memory serves me correct. Uh, sorry now, it's taken me a while to put these videos together. I've been working the last couple of weekends and I don't think I've sat down at the computer in about four weeks, so it just seems to be getting away from me a bit. Uh, but anyway, look, we arrived there in the afternoon. We went for a swim in the Adriatic, first time for everything, and came back. I think we listened to the all Ireland final uh, Kilkenny were playing Limerick that day and after that we headed down into the old town so we walked around the old town for a while uh, just explored the place it was it's quite nice quite pleasant now it's uh, an old, a really old kind of place uh, a lot of tourists around a lot of stalls selling souvenirs a lot of shops uh, quite a busy place now uh, enjoyed walking around it it was nice to see and uh, Bought a few bits in one of the market stalls and headed down to the main strip then just at the seaside. Now we found a place, I think we sat down and had pizza. I had a, I actually had something like a breakfast pizza. It had egg, sausage and bacon on it. Uh, it was the first time I had something like that now and it was, uh, it was actually really nice. But uh, we just sat there for the evening, watched the world go by. There was plenty of street entertainment there on the strip. Look, to be honest with you, you could be anywhere in Spain, it just had that uh, same kind of vibe about it, the main strip with lots of places to eat, uh, lots of stalls, shops, street entertainment on the strip as well, so it just had that kind of vibe about it, but look, it, uh, it was nice, so we just sat there uh till late in the evening uh, we finally called an uber to bring us back to the hotel actually the guy that uh, drove us back to the hotel was a croatian and he was telling us all about the war back in the 90s there and uh, obviously he had his own opinion on it but sure i suppose that's the way it goes anyway um, that ended our day in split in croatia yeah quite pleasant experience but look Probably didn't get enough time to explore it properly, but enjoyed it all the same. So that was it for day eight. Uh, next morning we were getting up and out early and heading for Bosnia. <laughs>